It's time to pack your bags for the wildest, most vibrant party of your life. Mardi Gras is calling. Welcome back to Wonderfully Lost, your guide to all things travel-worthy. If you've hit a wall while planning your Mardi Gras trip, well, here are 11 essential tips to make sure you experience the magic like a pro. Let's get started. Let's get one thing straight. The Mardi Gras is not all about booze. There's more elegant stuff to look forward to as well, like attending a ball. And yes, it's straight out of a fairy tale. We're talking about the entire package. Full-length ball gowns, tuxedos, sophisticated music, and lavish food that'll tickle your taste buds just right. It's usually the crew that hosts the ball. However, most of them are private events, except for the ones hosted by crews Bacchus, Orpheus, and Endymion. And honestly, the kind of pricey ticket is worth the money. That said, if you're looking for more of an adrenaline rush, then you couldn't be in a better place. A spooky and supernatural surprise awaits you in New Orleans. With eerie cemeteries, mysterious voodoo shops, vampire culture, and a chilling museum of death, the city is not for the faint-hearted, especially during Mardi Gras. You can test your nerves by visiting St. Louis No. 1 Cemetery, which is home to the famous voodoo queen Marie Laveau. There are other hauntingly beautiful graveyards, such as St. Rock 1 and 2, featuring creepy mosaics, as well as a ghastly chapel filled with St. Rock's offerings, where you can move about freely. If you want a more authentic voodoo experience, then head toward Voodoo Authentica, located on Domain Street, a true portal into the mystical foundations of New Orleans. But even the ghosts can't compare with the real magic of Mardi Gras, which seems to center around the King of Rex. Typically, an important resident from the community is chosen to play the role. However, his identity remains a secret. But the real question is, what exactly is Rex's job? Well, it's getting the party started. Around 6 p.m. on Lundi Gras, the day before Mardi Gras, Rex makes his grand entrance. Crossing the Mississippi River, from the West Bank to New Orleans streets. And you best believe he has a crowd. After parading across town in a grand procession, he makes a special appearance on Canal and Bourbon Streets for an audience. Watching him wave his scepter while throwing coveted doubloons and beads into a sea of excited faces below, as if to say, I'm your king, is definitely an experience you don't want to miss out on. Unfortunately, once he retires to his man cave, the grounds belong to the Skeleton Gangs. Founded by Africans back in 1819, the gang honors the dead while celebrating life. And how's that? Well, on Mardi Gras Day, gang members dress up as skeletons, complete with props like butcher bones. They walk through the Treme neighborhood chanting, You're next! They also knock on doors, letting people know that the sun has risen and it's time to get the party started. So if you find someone knocking on your front door at the crack of dawn, don't reach for your phone. It's part of the package. Moving on, you can also add watching some Indians fight to your list. Mardi Gras Indians are people who are known for their breathtaking feathered and beaded costumes. These are supposed to honor Native Americans and their traditions. But it doesn't end there. To pay homage to the darker aspects of their history, the Indians host mock fights under overpasses. Don't worry, it's all fun and games. However, the location and routes of these fights are kept under wraps. You won't find them on the Parade Tracker app. So how do you get yourself a front seat? Well, you'll have to keep your eyes peeled on the streets. And if you see one, don't run away. However, nothing beats getting evicted from Bourbon Street. As crazy as it sounds, it's part of the experience. Like the French Quarter, Bourbon Street is another party hub, attracting thousands of tourists. However, the celebrations can quickly turn into chaos, forcing the authorities to step in. But don't worry, you won't end up in jail. Like we said, it's pretty normal. They need to close down the area for Lent, a.k.a. the Christian preparation period before Easter. However, you'll need some serious energy levels to last up until that point. And if you still feel like partying after getting kicked out, you can head to the quarter because the sun never sets there. A 
Apart from the booze, you should also look forward to the food in New Orleans. The local cuisine is a real treat. One word of caution, though. If you're someone who can't handle your spice, well, it's about time you level up. The local Cajun and Creole style is famous for making people cry. You can look forward to gumbo, a mouth-watering combination of okra, rice, sausage, spices, and chicken. The Galatoire's restaurant on Bourbon Street is the place to try it. Oh, and this time of year, it's usually crawfish season. These juicy, flavorful bites are a bucket list must. Mm. And if you feel like doing something new, then look no further than the stalls selling crispy alligator. Another local delicacy worth trying. Speaking of alligators, you can try becoming friends with them instead. About less than an hour away from New Orleans is the Instagator Ranch and Hatchery, where you get to hold baby alligators. Don't worry, they don't bite. There are expert tour guides who ensure safety. And that's not even the best part. If you go during hatching season, you can even experience the birth of the gator in your arms. How cool is that? Probably not as cool as watching the greasing of the poles. We know it sounds boring right off the bat, but hear us out. It's actually the official kickoff to the Mardi Gras celebrations. And a little history lesson here. They have been doing it since back in the day to stop people from climbing up to the balcony space. Sure, no one's climbing up these days, but the entire ceremony draws in huge crowds. And you'll need to protect your eardrums because the cheering gets out of hand, and so does the music. If you're lucky, you might catch sight of Mardi Gras royalty as well, so definitely not an event that you should miss out on. Of course, the main attraction of the entire festive season is the parades. So we're just going to talk about some of the weirdest parade floats that you should definitely catch on the big day. The first parade of the carnival season is the geekiest, a.k.a. the Chewbaccas. You can look forward to catching Princess Leia's, Mario Kart racers, and dancing Hogwarts students, among many others. It's a favorite parade for pop culture lovers. Next up is the Society of St. Anne. This musical procession occurs early on Mardi Gras Day, in the Marigny. The parade features people wearing all kinds of funky costumes, and it's pretty lively, so don't be afraid to let loose with them. However, nothing is crazier than the Red Beans, a parade devoted only to beans. The costumes are super innovative, where participants make outfits from dry legumes. It ends at the Treme neighborhood, close to the Backstreet Cultural Museum. So, as long as you're wearing a bean costume, you can join in. And finally, if you're a dog person, then you should not miss the Barkus Parade, which shows off dogs dressed in various costumes. It's a must-see event, to be honest. The show is all about pet owners together with their canine friends. And if you think all of that is cool, well, then you definitely should add Mardi Gras World to your list. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a look behind the scenes. You'll get to learn about how parade floats are made and how the process has evolved over the years. What's more, you can also see some of the floats up close. However, if you do find this kind of thing cool, remember that the tour place shuts down on the day of Mardi Gras and three days before, so make sure to check their website for more accurate information. They do offer shuttle services from certain locations, the details for which can be found on the website as well. Got any questions about what awaits you in New Orleans? Let us know in the comment section below.